Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I'm Amber. Today is such a weird day. It's Friday, but it feels like a Saturday. Uh, yesterday, I went through the entire day thinking it was, not the entire day, but, but most of it, thinking it was Friday because the kids are off school today. They're going to be off school on Monday. So we just have a super long weekend. So we slept in. We just got finished with breakfast. It's been kind of, you know, one of those, one of those lazy kinds of days. But I thought I'd hop on. I wanted to share something. Something really strange happened to me yesterday. And um, I think I really, I don't think I know, I really hold back a lot in talking about some of the things that happen in my life. I think a lot of the reason is because I'm a little fearful. I guess flies. I cannot stand the flies back here now. It's so bad. Whew. Anyways, so I'm gonna tell this story and then and then we'll just see how it goes. A lot of things have been shifting in my life lately. I have been separating myself from some realigning myself with others. Um, I'm on a spiritual path and I'm finding that some of the choices that I made in alignments along the way um, do not serve me any longer. So I am very a very firm believer that when something no, long, no longer serves you, that it's time to let it go. And so, like I said, I've been making some changes. <clears throat> and a lot of strange things have been happening with some of these changes. As you all know, these flies, as you all know, I'm very, you know, I am very spiritual. I read cards. Um, I, a lot of the stuff I really keep to myself. I don't really, that's funny saying because I, you know, put it on YouTube, you know, a couple of card readings. But I really don't announce it to the public around me. And I think a lot of it has to do with fear. And so I was thinking, what better way to conquer this fear than to just face it head on? Hence my story. So yesterday, I had gone to a business meeting and... Um, I was talking, you know, with some people about, you know, shifting some some alignments with regards to business. And um, the owner of this business had come in to talk to me, and um, you know, kind of telling me what their what their business is about. And you know, I'm looking to to make some sh some changes, like I said. So I've been interviewing different um, business affiliates, and just kind of trying to see where I want to be. So I'm sitting in this room, and I had been there. I, I mean, I had planned on being there for a very short time. I wanted to go in, you know, see what they had to offer, and you know, and leave, and be able to consider, and so on and so forth. However, I ended up being um, here in this in this particular office for about two and a half hours, and um, after I talked to one person, you know, I. I was able to talk to the actual owner of the company next and he comes into the room and he's sitting there and he's talking to me and um, all of a sudden I see a very bright white light orb come into the room and I I, I wonder what my facial expressions were. I think I was very, very nonchalant about it. But it came into the room from the side and it kind of just went away. And then I could see around this person a light. I started to be able to see his aura. So I, I am a person who can see energy not all the time it comes on and off um i can't really choose it at this point i think that's something that maybe i would need to develop i can see it a lot better at night 
Um, but auras or energy fields is something that I've, I have never been able to see. And at times I've tried and I've never been able to see them. But all of a sudden I can see this white light around him. And I really wanted to shout, dude, I can see your aura. <laughs> but I was like, mm, probably not the right time for that. So I see this white light emanating from around him. And I start noticing that, so there's a white light, and then there's another color, and then there's another color. And I start noticing that as he's speaking, the light shifts. So when he says the F word, it gets really small and closer to his head. And when he's talking about something that he's very passionate about, the white light expands and gets bigger. And I was just watching this and just, it was just <laughs> the strangest thing. I know that doesn't seem like a lot to share, but that was really hard. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Can I do this? Should I say, should I share? Should I not? I mean, like, what do I do? But I guess I can see auras now. I, I think, may, I don't know if it was like that orb that came in that gave me, you know, sight of the aura or what it was, but it was very interesting thing that happened and I just thought it was really interesting as I was sitting there and as he was talking how the things that we say how they emit a light around us how our energy field changes when we speak certain words so the word the f word which I don't want to say now because now I can I can I was able to see it with my own two eyes that it shifts and changes the inner energy field. So if it's shrinking the white light, then it's a low vibrational word. But then the things that he was in alignment with or the things that he was passionate about would make his white light aura larger. It was very interesting to, to just be able to witness this and to see this. And so I wanted to share that. It, it, the things that we speak, the things that we s s um, think do affect us. And now I can see that in, in a very clear, clear, definite way. I'm not really sure how this is going to affect me moving into the future. I don't know if I'll, I mean, if I can see someone's aura with the colors and know what the colors mean, I guess I'll be able to know when someone is speaking in alignment or out of alignment or whether they're high vibratory beings or low vibratory beings or if they're just not in alignment with what they're speaking. I don't know. This is such a this is such a new thing for me. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. And if any of you have the same um I, what do you call it? abilities? Let me know. I am curious. I am curious, curious, curious how you got them. When did they start? Um, how did you grow? What is the growth process? I mean, some spiritual paths are meant to walk, be walked alone. I totally understand that. And others are meant to be shared. Um, and I think that, you know, the learning curve on this is something that I may need help with. So if this is something that um, you can see, please share. Until next time, namaste.